you reckon it's it? Do you reckon this is it? <laughs> Guys, welcome to another video. This one, we're gonna be doing some aging. Come with me around the corner. Check this out. Check this out. This is where we're at. Can you guys see that big, bold, beautiful bridge behind us there? Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh yeah. But what's more beautiful? Check this out. Shoot. Got my aging gear. This is actually dedicated aging gear. Actually, it's not. This is just my Exist 2000. Perfect. 0.5 PE braid and my Gecko rod. AGS Aging 610 LS. This is my Gecko Bijan. Never actually done this before with lures. So every time I get a fish, you're going to hear a bing. Right, terminal tackle here. Check this out. This pack here, that's what we're using. It's called 34. 2.0 Chimera bait and the jig head comes from this pack here this one says decoy AG drive 1.5 gram I've already grabbed one out right here see it's really small really tiny but don't take my word for it let's just put a traditional jig head right against it just to see what the size difference is let's get that out of the way let's get a 116th here and lay it alongside that's the 116 size 2 there that I use for brim and check that out that's like one quarter the size <laughs> and let's get the plastic out of this pack pack 34 chimeras crack that open grab out ye little plastic here and there we have it if we could just focus it's really tiny right this is going to be the first time I'm going to be rigging these lures it's really tiny I'm going to have a go here so they've got a little ridge here Oh my gosh. And I thought rigging Z-Mans were hard. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Get that focus. Look at that. Perfect. I'm holding onto the jig head. All right, head torch, here we go. Let's pick up my rod here. So apparently you're supposed to only just put the lightest of drags on this. Let's go find out. You reckon the light's gonna scare him? All right, that's good. All right, turn the corner here. Letting it sink. I'm uh, letting it sink counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's wind slowly. We're getting hits. Hits, 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 hits. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Hits, hits. It's almost like fishing with um, sabiki rigs. You, you get the you get the hits, and then the odd hit is just gonna load up. Just waiting for that load now. There we go. We load it up on. All right, aging rod, do your bit. Aging rod, do your thing here. Oh, I'm getting pumped here. It's coming up now. Oh. We got light drag. <laughs> Mate, these guys go hard on no drag. <laughs> there we go. He's, he's up. Yeah. Boom. First one. All right, throw him back. Fairy's coming. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a good hit. Here we go, here we go. We've we got some action here. Oh, just dropped him. Just got to keep winding. He's going to come back. Come back. Oh, there he is. I see my plastic. He's taking it. He just took it on the surface. Well, not surface, but subsurface. Just took it right there. I might try to adjust my drag a bit better. Oh, we dropped him there. That one was a tailor. All right, this is take number two. First, first cast was a strike and a loss of plastic, probably a tailor, who knows? All right, here we go, casting out. Just moved location after that re-rig. That's it. Fish on. Fish on. Bring him in. We got one. Oh, I popped him off right there. <laughs> Man, it's hard to bring him in. 
hook's not straightened, so that's that's good. I guess we're gonna have to try that one again. I cast into the shadows there. Big long cast. I think they're down deeper. There we go on. Felt that load up. He sat on it there. That one. So we'll make it quick. I really want to turn up more drag though. There's another one behind it. We got him in. Yeah. There's one thing I gotta say. Yak is always so hard to hold. Just throw him back. <laughs> there we are. Nice throw that. Here we go. Weed. I actually hit the bottom. Here we go. You get hits when you get to the right depth for sure. They're below us, they're beneath us. And I, I've been doing a little bit of a sneaky sneak. I've been free sport. Here we go. I figured out a technique. You don't need to cast a cast <laughs> So I was at the wrong depth, I could feel it. So then what I did was I just fed the fed the slack and just did slow lifting to replicate that movement and straight on. There's another one falling behind it, two of them. Boom! Next one. I've got to say this, this is pretty fun. This is uh, not what I normally do, but using using sabiki rigs is fun too. But this stuff says it's just next level. There we go, got him. Maybe you gotta work the lures. I feel like I, I just moved it and they just they just hit it. Whoa, that's a good one. That's a good run. <laughs> We're in for a big fight here on a yakka. Big fight here, Dom. Yeah. There's another one behind. Is that a tailor? Hope not. Could be. Oh, it's a tailor. It's not the tailor. Minus points, huh? Oh, I think that's decent. Here we go, ta tailor. Minus points, huh? Minus one. <laughs> Oopsies, but the tailor didn't there stop there. That was switched on, <laughs> and I got another one. Oh, no, this is not it. This is minus points. And then it's another one. My plastics disappeared. Right and on. then another one. So it was time for a change of tactic, and of course, the plastic as well. That last tailor destroyed the Chimera, so I'm going to get another one here. I'm liking these white ones, Dom. Im liking these white Chimeras, they're doing the business. Just got to avoid the, the tailor. That's it, another one here. Alright, the hard part, slotting it through the middle. Got to turn on your 2020 vision here to see what's going on. Put it through the back there. There we go, it looks good. Pick up my rod, let's get back to the water's edge. Let's get a cast, get a fish on this cast. Turn on my head torch, flick it out. Yep, on. I like the twitch. That noise behind me is the ferry behind us. We've got one. Whew, another one. Points, another yakka. Oh, this is my camera. This time I was fishing well down the water column and staying away from the surface where the tailor were more common. Here we go, see you later. Let's see it. It's pulling drag. That's it, that's it. Go! Yo! Yo! That's a good plastic. Still looking good, Dom. Perfect. I caught two more Taylor and another Yakka. Yakka. Another Taylor. So then it was time to try something completely different. Like? All right. So what we're going to do is come over here. So I just lost that plastic on that Taylor. I'm going to use another one, but different one this time. So let's see what we've got here, Don. So we've got this little case here. Crack this open. So we've got a bunch of little aging plastics here. What do you reckon, Dom? What do you, what do you reckon I should have a go? We're trying to get a big yakka now. We've got plenty. Definitely those ones. You reckon these ones? Do these ones have a name? It looks like a very clear plastic. 
it's called a micro worm, that one there. Micro worm, all right. So the micro worm has accounted for some of the larger yakas in previous sessions, which was the rationale. So I'm just going to measure that up and see where that should come out. Perfect! Street Fighter perfect. Perfect! Okay, now let's just push that through there and put it out through the back here. And let's see if the old shroom can get this straight rig and oh, look at that. Looky, looky. That's a thumbs up. Perfecto. Perfecto crust. Or do we like the, the thin and crispy crust? Come down here. Come down here right now. All right, so the bigger ones are on the bottom. So we're going to try to replicate that now. Let's turn on my head torch. It didn't take long. Oh, there we go. We're on, but I don't think, I don't think she's a monster. Yeah, not quite. I think it is a yakka though. But alas, not the monster we're after. Now these three inch ones are a bit longer. I'm getting some spikes in the hand here. This one would have been the perfect live bait here for kingies, jewies. And then the yakas shut down hard. Bro, I think all the yakas are gone, bro. I think the yakas are gone. <laughs> I think the yakas are gone. I was in denial. <laughs> All right, I kind of gave up on this idea with the three inch clear because that was just not working. So going back to the two inch in white, the two inch in white has caught us plenty. So that's the reason why we're going back. Need that confidence factor right now. It's interesting how it's got two parts to it. It's like got two tails. Wonder what the, um, the ID behind that is. And yep. straight back on the sleigh. We're on. I don't think it's big. Got me, got me at the boat. I mean, on the side. Another aging. We're on. This is a big one. Oh, something hard. <laughs> There's some head shakes. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a yakka. And it's a tailor. All right, so we've got to keep persisting. This ain't it. Going around the wharf like once. Now I'm fishing along the, the boardwalk. We just asked for one more. You know what? We'll, we'll get one more. If I don't get one more, unsubscribe. How's that sound? But if I get one, I have you forever. <laughs> oh. Oh. Go on. I got something. I got something here. Do you reckon it's it? Do you reckon this is it? Oh, it's not it. Unsub. <laughs> no, actually, no, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. It's a, not the target, but, oh, there we go. He's, he's off. Let's just flick him back in. Let's move, let's move spots. Unfortunately, the bite shut down hard. I tried all around the wharf to no avail. I think it was because the burly trail from the other anglers were too strong, causing the fish to switch from lures to bait and it went from bad to worse. The next yakka came off my friend's rod, who was just checking out the spot for me. I told ya, that could have been my big yakka to finish my video. <laughs> Goodbye subs. An hour later and well past midnight. Yep, on something. Oh. Drop that one. Oh, spewing. It's not looking good guys. Oh. A few moments later. All right, we're on to something. If it's a yakka, who knows? It's been hours later. It's finally <sighs> happened. We finally did it, yes! You're gonna test to the fact that I've been doing this for how many hours? Many hours. Countless hours. Trying to get that big one, but you know what? We'll take this one. Mission accomplished. Subscribers saved. If you enjoy interesting videos, why not watch another one? Watch this next one.